Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a quick video on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2's multitasking feature, uh, simultaneous multitasking. It's for the uh, Note 2 um, Android update on 4.1.2. I bought the phone and it came with 4.1.1 so you need to make sure that you have that updated and you can just do that in the general settings, uh, click about and then just update it. Um, it. All the major carriers should have that update um, for you by now. Um, but basically the multitasking is this little tab right here and what you can do basically is pick up other applications and run them simultaneous. I mean these are the apps right here in the side column and you can move this wherever. Um, this little tab though is annoying. I, I like to move it towards the middle mainly because if you're texting someone or you're texting something at all, anything at all, um, it gets in the way and it loads that when you're trying to type. So uh, by default I don't like where its placement is. Um, but um, it, it, it is a great, great, powerful uh, tool to have. So I'm going to do a quick example of uh, maybe how you would use it. Today, let's say we're just looking at a, a home. I was looking at some homes, um, and I thought, you know, well, you know, if I load it up, let's check the maps where it's located. And, and not having to switch between two browsers is awesome. It's obviously not going to replace being at home at a PC, but, I mean, to do this anywhere and not to bounce back and forth and being able to see what you need um, for this reason I, I like is because I don't have a great memory and I need to write down the address and I can pick an address and then load it into maps so let's just pick a random house here this one will do 3 Bend Street in Estonia um, so what I'll do is just uh, click the tab uh, I want to open up maps and then the icon I can drag up top or towards the bottom uh, I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom here and uh, you have the option to make it full screen or you can even Jane um, switch that splitter screen so that one screen is bigger than the other um, so let me grab that address and type it in uh, once I start typing the floating keyboard comes in the way um, it, it, you can move that with this little tab up top you just grip it and move it but what I don't like is when you're at the when you're typing on the bottom screen it the suggestions through you know maybe the application or through um, Chrome covers it shrouds where you're typing so it's like you're kinda guessing what you're typing I don't have that problem if I'm doing it up top and you can swap it if you want to maybe we'll do that a little later but um quickly let me just type it and after I type it boom you know it, it, if I need something the maps I can now see where that house is I thought that was really cool I think another cool feature is say um, lyrics to a song. Um, if you don't have the song, let's just say you're watching on YouTube. Um, just the song that's in my head is that latest Rihanna song. Not that I'm gonna look up the lyrics personally, but just as an example, um, load up the song, and I can just click the tab on the side. Okay, now that I click Chrome, I can just Google search um, for those lyrics. So let me just quickly type in Rihanna Diamonds lyrics. And voila now I have the lyrics I can watch the video I can sing along if I choose to which I'll spare you from that and um, yeah it's just one of many things obviously I just wanted to quickly show you how easy it is to use by far I think the best feature to have on a smartphone uh, I've really been playing with uh, multitasking with uh, iOS is uh, Safari um, opening up tabs popping in between the two browsers, um, or tabs I should say, and I have such a short memory attention span that I will forget what I was looking for or forget a number that I want to copy from one or the other. Um, and you can still of course obviously use the clipboard and paste it in, but 
mean, really, there's countless ways um, and um, reasons why you'd want to use the multitasking. You must have this option. It, it's it's a must need for your device. I hope more devices come with it. Um, obviously, I don't think it's going to happen mainly because you need uh, a really nice, a big screen for it to work and uh, be somewhat effective. So at least with the Samsung Note 2, um, awesome. I think it can be done with the S3 as well. Um, so anyways, it's the greatest feature for to have. Um, hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will definitely have some more content coming up, so stay tuned.